Welcome to another video. Today's topic is about pool etiquette, uh, namely swimming laps continuously. Now, this is something that I really want to talk about because a lot of uh, miscommunication, a lot of misunderstanding is happening around the world uh, and this needs to be talked about. And this is something that I think personally that you should not do when you're lap swimming. This is the number one pet peeve, the thing that really pisses me off. Wherever I am in the world, swimming laps, doing my own thing, if someone does this to me, I get really, really angry. And that thing that I'm talking about is called foot tapping. Now, if you don't know what foot tapping is, it's basically a gesture where you're swimming and someone behind you that wants to pass you in a lane that you're sharing together taps your foot, showing you an indication that that person wants to swim past you, is swimming faster than you, or vice versa, okay? Someone's in your lane, they're swimming in front of you and they're going really slow, and you tap their foot, indicating that you want to pass them because you're swimming faster than them. I think this is a big no-no. You should not do this in any pool whatsoever. And uh, this comes or originates from a lot of swim clubs and swim teams, okay? Swim coaches teach this to their students uh, because, you know, these students, they spend a lot of hours swimming together. They know each other and uh, they are all aware of the rule that if someone's tired or swimming really slow and they get tapped from behind, they, they get tapped on their foot from someone behind them, they know, oh, okay, I gotta swim to the side, closer to the lane, and let that person who's swimming faster to pass me. I get it, I understand this rule. It makes sense in a swim club setting, okay? When everybody agrees and consents to this rule, yes, it makes sense. But if you're swimming in a public pool with people around you that you don't know who they are, you're not acquainted with, and you start touching them physically, you're invading people's personal space. And I don't know about you, but me personally, I don't like strangers touching me. I want people to respect my personal space just like I respect other people's personal space. And that means no touching people. Here's my rule of thumb. If you are swimming with another swimmer that you are familiar with, you're friends with, you, you swim together for many years or whatever, or you understand the rules of the situation, then yes, it's okay to tap the foot, all right? As long as you give consent to people touching you and you touching other people. It's totally cool, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. But outside of that, no, don't do it. Please do not do it. And I'm gonna tell you what happened to me uh, a few years ago. I was swimming in a pool, uh, that was really overcrowded actually. There were so many people swimming in the slow and the medium uh, lanes. So you know in every pool there's slow, medium, and fast uh, speeds for lanes, okay? There was, there was just too many people in the slow and the medium lanes for me to swim. So I had no choice to swim in the fast lane, okay? So I know what you're gonna, you're thinking, but Hear me out, okay? So I was swimming in the fast lane. I'm usually swimming in the medium lanes, but I'm never really in the fast lane because fast lanes are for competitive swimmers and people who are sprint swimming and you know, they just, you know, they're going all out, okay? So I was aware of my situation. I was in the fast lane. I had the lane to myself actually, all right? I had to take it. So I started swimming and started doing my thing. And in the middle of my session, you know, I was on lap 17, lap 18, you know, you, you go into the zone. You know, there was another swimmer that entered the, my lane, okay? So uh, I, I've never met this guy before in my life. 
And then he started swimming really aggressively. And eventually he caught up to me. And then he started doing this to my foot. He was actually doing this. He was, he was grabbing, grabbing my foot, you know? It's like a, like a, like a, I don't know, like a security guard grabbing a shoplifter. That's the, that's the feeling I got on my foot. And to me, that was like a shock. It was a complete shock. I don't know who this guy is. He's invading my personal space without consent. So what I did was I stopped swimming all of a sudden. I started treading water. We were both in the, in the middle of the lane in, in the deep water. I turned around. I said to him, don't do that. Don't touch me. And this guy, he started treading water and he was like, he was completely shocked at what I said to him. He was like, you know, he's coming up with all these excuses. Well, it's totally normal from where I'm from and all that. Yeah. And again, he's from that swim club mentality where it's okay to do that to anybody. You know what I'm saying? So it got really bad. And what happened was, you know, he was just coming up with all these excuses, started arguing with me. I had enough of it. So what I did was I, I got out of the pool I spoke to the head lifeguard. I told him what happened and he agreed with me. That's, that's not, you know, not acceptable. Okay. You know, if you're outside of a swim club setting, yeah, without consent, it's not, that's not good. And that guy who touched me, he got out of the pool and he started getting up in my face and the, the head lifeguard's face as well, started arguing back. So he knew what I was saying to the lifeguard and all that. So, you know, I had enough of that. And what I did was I got my stuff, I got out of the pool and I never went back to that pool ever again after that incident. That's what happened. And that memory is stuck with me to this day because, you know, I think that, you know, someone touching you, you don't give consent to, it's just not acceptable. That's that's fight terms for me, all right? And that's what I really wanted to do. I was in fight mode when that guy was, you know, being that aggressive. And yeah, it could have gotten worse if I wanted it to be. But, you know, I kept my cool and yeah, that's it. That's my lesson. And um, yeah, if you're in this situation, please don't do it, okay? And if you are sharing lanes, a lane with other swimmers, Make sure you get consent with them. You know, just have a quick, you know, chat with them. You know, when they're, I don't know, resting on the ledge or the wall. It's like, hey, uh, I'm going to be swimming this style. I'm going to be doing breaststroke. I'm going to go pretty slow. If you want to pass me, just tap me on the foot. You know, that kind of thing. It's really quick. Just like a few seconds of just, hey, just give them a notice. So give them the consent. Or... What I usually do is like, if I see someone who's swimming really slow in front of me, like for example, you know, nine times out of 10, it's someone doing a really slow breaststroke, you know? And I know from experience that some people, they can't control their whip kick or their arms properly. So what happens when they get really lazy is that they do a really wide pull with their arms or a really wide whip kick, which turns into a frog kick. And I've been sliced in the ribs several times by people when they do that whip kick, if I try to pass them, okay? So what I do is if they're going slow, I go slow. If they go fast, I try to go fast or I get out of their way, which usually means switching to another lane. That's all I have to say for now. If you have any horror stories in your local pool, please leave a comment down below and let us know, okay? And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care and Bye.